Hello, hello, hello. I hope you are all well. Thanks for watching. Um, I just wanted to show you a product which has arrived. I'm sorry that I look like this, but the sun is out in the sky, so it's a case of no makeup and enjoying it while it lasts. Um, but I am doing this video for a product review for Lollipop Baby Camera. Um, so I will... Um, show you the unboxing then show you it tonight and let you know my thoughts on the, uh, on the product archer kindly wants to help unpack um as he does think it is for him although it is in pink ready for his little sister's room so let's see what is inside this is how it comes it is a beautiful box and it is even more beautiful inside it's got a really nice feel to it. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, wow. Of course he wants to push the camera. Get his fingers on it already. So once you, you take the camera out, you come to the next layer. Once you lift it up, which has got all the extra bits for you. A little bit of installation. And then in here, you've got the plug adapters. Here you've got how to attach it to the wall. Here's with all your leaves and stuff. You want to put it back. So we have just got ready for bed. Ah. I've set up the camera. I set up myself. It was really, really easy. Um, it comes with, obviously, the wall add-ons and everything like that. We're not doing it for Archer's room because it is for his little sister when she's born. He's growing out of needing a monitor as much. But I'm sure I'm going to have some funny things to show. I've already looked at the quality difference and it's incredible. But I will show you the comparisons because I've left his old monitor on and the new one. So we will have both, um, but I will show you what it looks like. So this like. is the setup that I have chosen. So it's got the threads down the back of the cot and um, runs the way along. It's got a really long wire, which I was buzzing about because most don't, but it was really easy set up there, obviously. Pink isn't sort of the color theme for his room, but it definitely will be for hers. And the quality is amazing. So he's got that camera there and that one there. So as you can see on this monitor, the picture quality isn't the greatest. So, I mean, this is daytime when it's a little bit light in there. So when it's really dark, we do struggle to see him. And this is the new Lollipop baby camera. So as you can see, so much clearer, even in colour patches it all compared to the other one which was obviously dark and this is the exact same nap exact same lighting in his room and it literally makes all the difference i'm really really shocked but i love it please excuse the state of me but this is how i live during lockdown there is nothing attractive about it um but i wanted to pop on and talk you through um, the last few days we've using the lollipop instead of what we have had which is a motorola i don't know what type it was passed to us from a family member so it is a little bit older and out of date hence why this was needed so we went for the pink as you would have seen from my unboxing but if you have sped along to this bit um just so that we chose pink for baby girl on her way rather than blue for Archer. So we've had it all set up. Uh, I've had some questions from you guys to cover and I'm gonna give you my honest review, what I think, all the questions that I had, so you can get an idea. So a couple of the things that we love about this monitor is that it's on like a circle of pivot so I can move it and control it to see where he is. So if he jumps out of bed, I can follow him to the door, follow him back. But because of how old it is, the camera quality isn't the best. Unlike this, which the camera quality is amazing. And I love it because it, it saves little 30 second videos, but I'll get onto that in a minute. Um, so that is one of the features that we loved about this. Whereas with the Lollipop, it does only stay in one angle. However, the camera is quite a wide lens. So for example, I will show you in a clip in a moment, but where it's positioned in Archer's room, although I can see his entire bed, 
I can see almost all the way to the door as well. So I can see him get up, I can see him walk out, I can see us walk in. Um, so you can see everything. Whereas with this one, obviously, smaller lens, not as good camera, so it's harder to see. So for the way in which you can see your baby, this definitely gets a winner. Um, a couple of other things with this one, obviously this is a monitor. I can just watch him, it's on our bedside table. I can turn it up, turn it down, speak through it. This one is a little bit different. So it is all through your mobile phone. So you can link up, we've got me, Kyle, um, and I believe you can link up a few more. It's all through the Wi-Fi. So don't get me wrong, I couldn't link it up to my mum's house and get my mum to watch it. But if my mum was here and babysitting him, she could go and link up her phone and put it on and she'd be able to babysit with it all through her phone. So really, really handy when I'm in the garden, running around, um, doing stuff. Because this, unfortunately, because it is old, it can't be unplugged because he just disappears. Whereas this comes with me everywhere around the house. And it just notifies me. And you get ping. I check my phone like it's just ping now um, to say that there's been some movement. I mean, he hasn't moved, so there must be a ghost. Um, but that is one of the things. So, I love the practicality, the picture quality, the look of it. I mean, it's obviously not in this box because it's in this bedroom, but the look of the lollipop is beautiful. Um, it's, so, it's so aesthetically pleasing when I spit my words out. Um, it's not ridiculously priced, which a lot of them are. Um, and it's so convenient, it really, really is. However, it is an adjustment. So if you are used to your standard baby monitor, like probably majority are, and haven't sw quite switched over to the more smart ones, it is a case that we are slowly adjusting because you go on your phone, you don't sit with the monitor on all night, your phone goes off on charge, it's not just there. So when you wake up, it, you can't just see your baby next to you. Um, they do have an uh, audio monitor, so what you can do is put your phone down, turn it off, well not turn it off, but as if you would at night, and you don't need to worry about like the notifications, and you can just have the audio monitor on, so if they were to start crying, you'll hear it, and then you can just go in and deal with them, because that was our biggest thing on the first night, is we were so reliant on listening out for a cry, because we had the telly on, that the first night we didn't use the audio monitor, so it was a case of trying to listen to his room to hear him cry to wake us up. Uh, so it was, again, it's an adjustment. So I think that within a week or so, we'll be used to it in the audio monitor. The only bit that makes it hard is the connection. So this one works all through Wi-Fi. This one, I don't actually know how it works. It plugs in and it works, but it's not through Wi-Fi or anything like that. It's old. Um, but it's just constantly there. So sometimes with this, um, and I've looked into the connection because you can test the connection, which is fab that you can keep testing it. So you can move to the garden and then test to see your um, connection there. But whilst I'm up here, it tends to be okay because obviously I'm here and his room's there. Sometimes it can be a little bit slow. So for instance, he'll start crying. I'll get notification. I'll click on it. To see what he's doing because it might be a case that he's lost his dummy and he's going to settle again in 10 20 seconds but it could be that he's woken up from his nap sometimes it can take oh sometimes it can take 30 seconds to load and by that point i'm like i should have just gone in his room and figured out what was going on um but that is due to the connection now in our house we're in a two bedroom standard house so just up the downstairs floor our floor and our room's here, his bedroom's here, we've got a toilet in the middle, small simple house and we do have fibre so our internet is great for the rest of the house, I mean we have all of our phones and whatnot connected at the same time which again could be like a slightly slower um, but where this does rely slowly on the wi-fi it can be a little bit delayed with seeing what's going on or for instance one of the nights when we had the audio on it kept pinging to say that it lost connection which obviously you want to know 
but we're also trying to get to sleep and it's pinging every minute to say, oh, we've lost connection, we've lost connection and we can't display the audio. I did think about pulling my hair out. I didn't, I just turned it off and went for him to cry. Um, but that is my only thing. So if it's a case that you live in a townhouse and your baby sleeps on the top floor and you are quite often two floors below, definitely look at what your internet is upstairs where the baby will be compared to where you are because if the speed isn't great up there you might need to get something to make sure that you get the best out of this that's my only little niggly thing but I've got to be honest because otherwise it wouldn't be me however everything else is tick box after tick box the appearance the video quality you can speak through it which is really handy we quite often will say to our share back to bed or something like that or we often to soothe him would go shh down the monitor which you can do on there they've got sound effects which that monitor i know definitely doesn't so you can play white noise or anything like that which is going to be a godsend for the newborn um the fact that you've got access from your phone and you can let your mum if they're babysitting or something like that come around and just connect up to it again great um a couple of other things people asked is easy to install which is in this video um really easy i mean i did it i didn't even ask her to help you just wrap it around the cart or stick it to the wall whichever works best for you but i found it really easy to install but there is so many reasons why i love this monitor it's just the connection so you yourself will know whether you've got fiber or regular broadband if you struggle for connection in different rooms so if you are in the nursery and you struggle with network connection that will be your only hiccup because with Archer being nearly two I don't worry about him as much because if he's if he's upset he can pretty much tell me what's going on you can tell the difference in the cries and whatnot so if it's a little bit delayed I'm not overly concerned but I'm hoping by the time little one comes I'll be a little bit more adjusted um we might have even moved so the internet connection could be better um it's just something to think about a couple of other questions which i've just double checked that they're all up together quite a few of you asked the same but a couple was obviously what sort of things does it sense so it does have a ton of sensors so it senses movement so you set up your crossing detection so for instance we've got it set up so as soon as he gets out of bed in that bracket it will alert us now he also moves an awful lot swinging his legs around so every single time i get notification but could be worse it just sends me a little 30 second clip which sometimes is lovely just to have on your phone um but it does that air quality noise crying detection so it can tell you the difference between if it's a noise for example if a siren was to go off outside his window that's a noise or the difference if he was crying so that's really helpful um but yeah and you can decide how many you want alerts for or not and it keeps track of it of how many times you've got up in the night which is a lot which isn't so fun but yeah you get all of the alerts you can select which ones you want we've got it set up so we can see him getting out of bed and when he cries and the noise and blah 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 and you can do it so that it's less or more sensitive so you can say right okay it can get this noisy before you tell me or don't worry about notifying me if they get out of bed or anything like that so for you tailoring it to suit you it's great because you can turn off notifications change the strength the weakness all of that sort of stuff so that is a really really good point um you also asked how easy is it to use on your phone it's really simple it's just your standard app you click on it your live monitor, your audio monitor, we've navigated around it quite quickly. Um, so there is so many things that just make it so simple. Um, I think my favourite thing is the fact of having all of the 30 second clips. Um, I shared obviously some on my Instagram, which a lot of you saw and loved, but just to have those little moments like when I'm reading to him before bed, that we just have as mum and son, to be able to watch back even though it's only 30 seconds is great you can upgrade your account i haven't looked into it just because it's not something that i need to do right now but you can upgrade it so that you can save more videos i believe and it's got a couple of other features which i'll be honest i haven't looked into just yet i should probably do that um but 
as an overview. It's a keeper. Um, I really like it. I do really, really like it. The other monitors that I were looking at were 300, 400 quid um, for a very similar sort of thing. Um, different look, but they offer the the range of qualities that you want from a baby monitor. Whereas this, I think, is a fair price. Pick up on Amazon for 145, I want to say. Um, fair price, easy, convenient, looks good. It's got a lovely box. And it sure is better than this. Just, if your ball brand's rubbish, check out or get in a new router or something before you do this because then you might be a little bit 